Hi friends good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. And for all of you I pray that God fulfill all your dreams and give you lots of happiness. And my dear friends every time I try my best to give you all latest news. Therefore, you are requested to sit tight on your seats and enjoy the latest news. The Industrial Estates Authority, one of the formations of the Iraqi Ministry of Industry and Minerals, announced on Thursday it's joining the World Federation of Free Economic Zones FEMOZA, in cooperation with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO. The Director General of the Authority, Hamid Awad Mohammed, explained in a statement that the Authority is a vital entity charged with advancing the industrial cities and their prosperity throughout Iraq, indicating that the joining came due to the importance of international partnerships in achieving the objectives of the Authority in light of economic changes and the movement of markets, shipping lines, and global land and railway transport, and in order to interact with it professionally, taking advantage of Iraq's strategic geographical location. He pointed out that the FEMOZA organization is considered an internationally known union committed to promoting sustainable economic zones and has links with 200 countries in the world. The director of the authority added that this affiliation confirms the objectives of the Industrial Estates Authority in creating an environment conducive to investment, innovation and economic diversification by benefiting from the organization and its global network as well as attracting foreign investment to Iraq and enhancing the authority's ability to establish and manage industrial zones that help in sustainable development and international business participation. Accelerating industrial growth within Iraq by benefiting from the expertise of specialized international organizations. And the Iraqi Fund for Foreign Development announced on Wednesday that Iraq became a member of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development EBRD, after the Iraqi parliament approved the accession law. The Iraqi Fund for Foreign Development said in a statement that the step reflects the endeavors of the Iraqi Finance Ministry to promote cooperation and communication between Iraq and international financial institutions, according to the Iraqi news agency INA. The statement elaborated that the step will allow the EBRD to fund projects in Iraq, encourage the growth of different industries, support the entrepreneurship program, and assist the private sector by making investments and taking part in policy discussions. The EBRD was founded to encourage private and entrepreneurial endeavors and the shift toward market-oriented economies. The EBRD makes investments in 39 economies on three continents. Central and Eastern Europe, the Southern and Eastern Mediterranean, and Central Asia. The activities include transportation, infrastructure, agriculture, and several other industries. And in the German capital, Berlin, the Minister of Electricity, Ziad Ali Fadl, signed an important agreement with Siemens Energy Company to invest in associated gas and convert it into electrical energy, with the aim of meeting the needs of citizens in a sustainable and safe manner. Fadl said in a statement by the ministry, a copy of which Al Furat News received, that, the agreement comes as part of the efforts of the Iraqi government, headed by Mohammad Shia al Sadani, to end the phenomenon of gas burning and invest it effectively in generating electrical energy, as well as within the framework of its commitment to the decisions of the Paris Climate Conference in preserving the environment and providing renewable energy sources. He explained that, the agreement is characterized by rapid implementation, as it includes investing about 120 million standard cubic feet meek of gas within a short period of six months and an additional 120 meek within a period of one year, and the gas produced will be used to establish an electrical station with a capacity of 2,000 megawatts to enhance the capabilities of the electrical network and ensure the stability of supply hours. For his part, CEO of Siemens Energy, Christian Brook, praised the efforts made by the Iraqi government to overcome the challenges and obstacles that have faced the energy sector over many years 
stressing that Iraq has succeeded during the past few years in establishing many infrastructure projects that will contribute in building real capabilities for the country's energy sector. Thanks take care.